bright and early this morning. Man, it's been a while since I've uh, had to get a machine that muddy. There were some deep spots out there. I do have the mats though, so today they are going to be used. So I've got to uh, swap it over this morning so that I can uh, use the thumb. The uh, tilt won't work on the bucket, but the, uh, the thumb will. I probably need to start it up, make sure the bucket's straight. Um, that way it's not uh, angled. Let me do that real quick and then uh, I'll show you how to change it. There we go. Nothing more aggravating than the uh, bucket being cockeyed. So you gotta turn the valves and that turns the thumb back on or cuts the flow back to the thumb. So what you can do, this machine can only run the, uh, the grading bucket at, at one time. What I can do is lock these valves um, open and turn these valves off and the grading bucket will be locked in the uh just a digging bucket position and then i can still use the thumb so instead of taking it off and which way does this one go um instead of taking that bucket off and putting that one on i can just leave that on there and then uh turn these valves off so that it doesn't get any hydraulic flow and the uh the thumb will still work because the grading bucket runs off the thumb auxiliary hydraulics. All right, well, I'm gonna grab these mats and take off over there. I'm going to go ahead and patch the dam back. We got rain coming about lunchtime today. I know it doesn't look like it, but there's a line of thunderstorms coming. Should be able to get everything down there taken care of before the rain gets here and hopefully get majority of this done as well. All right. Let's go get this done. I've already taken uh, two mats over there. And I've got two more right here. Let's see if I can make my way out there first thing this morning. And go ahead and patch that back and then uh, work my way back down through this. And, uh, transfer this back and get it cut out as I go here. I'll probably add a little bit to that bank right there because I'm, I'm kind of running out of places to put mud. I'm just 
just going to add this to behind the bomb dam. What I feel like I need to do is make me a pile of uh, stuff real quick to uh, actually put in the breach. So let me scrape up some of this uh, mud and grass real quick. That way I'll have something to uh, pack into the pond dam. Alright, I scraped up some mud. Wish me luck. I'm going out there. My mats will hold up. As long as they get me through this. Some 
gooey stuff, I think it'll be okay. I'm gonna actually raise this part of the dam up about six or eight, 10 inches higher than the uh, rest of it just for the fact that uh, I don't want it to wash over the new part. And the way beaver dams are, they actually almost got wet. They're actually pretty, pretty even. Um, so therefore the water kind of flows over them at like, you know, the same depth. Look at that water snake. I don't know, that might be a, I don't know what that is. It is not happy though. So the water kind of trickles over them at the same, you know, uh, depth normally all the way across. So it kind of just sheet drains over it and uh, therefore it's not all concentrated in one spot. Of this stuff in here as I can. 
while I'm over here. Thank you. 
feet of water in here. That'll really make this uh, fill on up nice. So that went about as good as planned. Got the uh, dirt piled back on that corner of the dam where it was broken. And now I'm kind of working my way out, kind of slicking this bank up. Wish it wasn't mud and grass. It'd look a little bit better, but that's all I got to work with. This edge of the pond or side that I cut out yesterday is already about covered. So now that it won't be flowing out, it ought to uh, really fill on up pretty fast now. So I'm gonna work on getting this bank right here cut out and transferred up to here. So it is go time now. The uh, rain is getting here a little quicker than I thought it would this morning. But I think I'm in a spot now where it really won't affect me too much. I won't be able to stop. I'll have to keep going through the rain. But uh, I think I got it where the pond can start filling up. It ain't going to fill up like instantly. But I definitely need to be done with what I'm doing.
to keep uh, getting mud moved and uh, hopefully I'll get as much done as I can before the rain gets here. Well, the uh, rain's here. Luckily, all I have left to do is finish cleaning this corner out right here, kind of a radius, so shouldn't really affect too much. I have a feeling probably in 24 hours the whole bottom of that pond is going to be covered. Be interesting to see for sure. Alright, well, I'm going to finish pulling this mud up here and kind of smearing this out and then I've got to make a path around here to be able to get out of here. So I'm getting the last little bit of mud dug out here and laid up on the bank. Rain came through and made everything a more liquidy mess. But it'll be like that sometimes. Just hoping that I can get this stuff to stay right here. That's my problem is this stuff is so wet. This mud is not... I can't do my bank. What I'm going to have to do is pull this mud out of the way. Put a scoop of dryer stuff back to be able to build my shoreline back. down the hill which looks like that's what's going to happen all this is just going to crap don't have any good mud left back over that way some my plan to go out is right through there yeah I need to see if I can scrape a little of this more runny stuff out I think this is going to work Let me put that right here Scoop some of that dryer material right there up. I need to go ahead and do this before I grade all that out. Or attempt to grade that out. So I got to be able to. It's just that one spot right here that's really squishy. So I can scoop this mud out. Like so, and then cut the solid material out right here. Put it where the bank's got to go, and hopefully that will stay put long enough to hold this mud back and be able to great edge on that. The joys of working with mud. Does not stay on slopes. I think I can make that work though. All right, let me slick this up and see if I can't uh, work my way out of here. It's getting kind of... All right, this is probably the uh, last video working. I am uh, working my way out right here. The last little section, trying to grade a little swell to catch this spring that's on the side of the hill and divert that runoff into the pond. worked out just perfect with the dirt. For a second I thought I was going to have more mud than I knew what to do with, but I mean, as you can tell, there's a there's a 
load of mud here. I've got to wiggle my way out through here and up by this brush pile. And then still make this look somewhat decent. Smearing mud. So the best thing to do is smear it out like this and then they want it dressed up better. Once it dries, come back and be able to do a whole lot more with it. But all in all, it don't look terrible. Like I've mentioned before, if it wasn't all wads of grass and brush, it would smear out a little bit better, but what I have to work with. I'm pretty happy with it. right here to drain which shouldn't be a problem looks like all together I had about one bucket full of mud too much considering how much I've moved out here I think that's pretty good odds Mats are loaded up. Machine is nice and muddy. I'm gonna take those back to the house, drop them off. Grab my uh, scrub brush. They have a water hose. I'm gonna try to wash some of this mud off this thing. I gotta shovel the tracks off. And uh, I'll walk over there and show you the pond. Everything is completed on it. Machine is washed off and ready to go. Let's check out what all I completed here. So I was here for three days. Went out here and started right here and took off all the way to the head section and started digging that out up there. So as you can tell, I took all the mud and added it to the bank right here and spread it out the best I could. Stuff's pretty ooey and gooey, but once it dries out and run over it and slick it right up, it's hard to believe how much water is already in the pond. 
the bottom is almost covered in it so you'll be able to see in the drone shots i went right there where the property line is and uh i had to stay on this side of it and fix the dam back right there so hopefully that should take care of it like i said it's all we could do being on this side but that part of the dam is fixed graded all this out smeared this in here most of this is going to be underwater so it doesn't really matter too terribly much laid all that over here and graded a shore long shoreline along that edge right there and then kind of made a i had some extra mud right there so i just kind of made a little hump right there with it so once that dries out they'll be able to uh use some of that dirt around here to uh grade everything out i put in one two three four little uh channels right here just to let any of that run off from the woods back over here so i want to walk around up there and check that out and see how much water's flowing in but clearly it's a good amount and up here in the head section looking back you can see how big the area is already able to walk on the mud but this is why it's going to fill up fast there's a lot of water flowing in here oh yeah i imagine in like two days all this will be covered from here all the way to there so they say unfortunately all that was somebody else's and they didn't want to do anything with it so this will fill up and this side of the pond will be nice and pretty